Welcome to the Friday 13th YouTube channel. Today you're going to be watching an absolutely fantastic interview with Bob Catley and Lee Morris from Magnum. Now Magnum are about to release their new album on the 12th of January of 2024. It's called Here Comes the Rain on SPV. So Metalheads, please check out this interview. Please share, please leave comments. Thanks to Lee and Bob for doing this interview and also I'd like to thank Andy for setting up the interview. Thanks Metalheads, be safe. Okay, so we're talking to Bob and Lee from Magnum. Welcome to Friday 13th YouTube channel. Hope you're both well today. Yeah, uh, mate. yeah, uh, yeah. I'm okay. I'm getting better. Uh, I've been having a few bad days, actually. Um, if you want to know the truth, with the Tony and everything, and the tour cancelling, having yeah. to be cancelled because we can't. He can't commit to that uh, at this stage. Um, but uh, it's going to get better soon. Um, whatever they can give him, um, he's got a, a, a spinal condition. Um, that is quite rare, apparently, mm -hmm. uh, and it's been coming on. I mean, probably uh, since the last time we did some gigs mm. last year, and then we've been recording the new album all through this year, and it's been getting gradually worse for him. And it, and now it's like, oh, you, you can't, you know, do anything. Yeah. Um, so touring, wearing a guitar on stage for nearly two hours, and the tour bus, just the, the yeah. fact that you're on tour is like it's a big no no at the moment. Uh, and we're all like, oh, Tony, you know, yeah. uh, but of course, if he's got to just get he's got to heal now somehow, um, and the future will have to take care of itself. We can't talk about the future, it's yeah. way too soon yeah we just want him to be in a better place and for everybody to be kind and and, and understand uh, his situation yeah. and i know they will be because they're magnum fans and of course they will be kind and understanding yeah. and i know it, the uh, facebook's full of it uh, sending tony their best wishes and all uh, it's all up on in, on the internet, the statement mm -hmm. there. So just read that, people. And I can't tell you any more than what the statement says. Okay. Yeah. All right. And that's. Well, Tony will be gutted about the tour. I mean, obviously, we're all very proud of this album. You know, we want to be able to get it there and play these songs live for everybody. So I know he's going to be gutted about it. You know, we, we just seem to be cursed when it comes to touring. This is like the second tour. We had the Serpent Rings tour got cancelled because of COVID. And now, obviously, you know, with, with Tony sort of medical sort of issue now you know it's like the second tour which we've had to cancel so we've done like two tours for the last four studio albums you know what i mean so yes yeah. we've been here before yeah. we're getting deja vu yeah. i just don't want to get used to it uh -huh. <laughs> this ain't where he's supposed to be but at, the end, at the end of the day tony's health is the most important thing you know at the end of the day he's, he's our captain as our, our friend you know yes yeah. you know we've got to make sure he's right you know and, and i know tony's a true but i need to through and try to commit to the tour but it wouldn't be fair to put him through that, you know no, what I mean? We because, can't put him know, through that. Being no. on a tour bus and bouncing around and no. you know, carrying a guitar, it would have just been too that, much. So it's, it's hard enough at the best of times, let alone at the moment. See, it's, it's, it's the wise thing. To... Yeah, well, wish him all the best yeah, for me. That, and okay, I hope he gets... that makes sense. Yeah. yeah, I hope he gets better. So wish him all the best for me. And everybody watching this, all the fans out there that are watching this, will be wishing him all the best. Well done, mate. Thank so, so, I mean, the last yeah. album, we're going to talk about the last album first, just as a warm up question. Uh, how successful was it for you? The last album? Yeah, the one there, the Monster Rose. I mean, that was quite Monster a Rose. That, that was quite a scary <laughs> cover. I mean, looking at it, it looks like a black metal album. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's one of my ex-girlfriends there, actually. We just thought we'd put her on there, you know. She was desperate to get on the cover. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. It, the, the, the album went great. Absolutely great, yeah, as usual. And, yeah, uh, yeah we, we toured it, uh, and everybody loved it, and, yeah. Bring it on. Yeah. And now we've got, we got Rodney Matthews back on the artwork this time. He wasn't available last time. Uh, so Tony had a plan B up his sleeve. Uh, and I think it's a great uh, photograph, uh, a great piece of artwork, uh, that photograph. Uh, it's like, whoa, wow, cop this. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, um, but we, now, now we've got Rodney again. And as everybody can see on your page here yeah uh the album cover and uh, it's nice to have him back now he's uh, available once more but he's a very busy man these days he's very popular um yeah so great to be working with him again and uh i hope this album did as well as the last album 
yeah. and the album before that. You know, it's just a, a, a natural progression. We just keep yeah. going, and you know, the albums always do good within reason. You know, I think so, we're very lucky as a band, aren't we? Because you've got such a loyal fan base that have been with the band for many, many years. You know, yeah. what I mean? and I think it's like you know, and I've been with us, you know, a, a lot of these from the beginning. You know, what I mean, so I think we have that consistency of a of a fan base like we have, which we're very fortunate to have. Mm. You know, it, it sort of allows us to sort of maintain a you know. A similar level with each album, you know, so it's nice, brilliant. We're very fortunate. Yeah, that's good. I mean, I think last time we met was on the, when you played with Saxon at Hull City Hall with their Diamond Head and Rock Goddess. Yeah, yeah. That was that was a few that good was a years. Great show, yeah. It was. I've got some cracking photos from that gig. As you might have seen, Lee, I might have sent them to you. Yeah. So I'm going to talk about the yeah, new album. Show, I know it was. So I'm going to talk about the new album. Here comes the rain. Who came up with the title? Uh, what's well, one of the songs Tony wrote? Yeah, here comes the rain. Uh, second song on the album, um, and uh, he had Rodney, a meeting. Wasn't it? Hmm? Was it Rodney that came up with the idea? Yeah, well, yeah. Uh, Tony and Rodney had a meeting in the studio where we are now, uh, talking about uh, the do- Rodney needs to know the direction of the album, so he could got a starting point for his artwork, which he paints with a paintbrush, brilliant. And uh, um, and he said, "Well, th- throw a few titles at me." So. Tony had um, uh, Run Into the Shadows and um, uh, Blue Tango and Here Comes the Rain and he went, A Broken City and Rodney uh, said, uh, Here Comes the Rain, I think I can I can do something with that title, Here Comes the Rain. Yeah, and Tony told him what the song's about. about I mean, we're not talking about rain, we're talking about missiles or whatever coming at you, in, coming under fire. Um, and uh, in a in a war zone, <sighs> unfortunately. Uh, so that gave him the scope to do come up with the artwork, uh, which he's done. Um, and he's brought back some, some characters like the storyteller, uh, and who I'm sure some people think that's Roddy Matthews. And um, <laughs> um, sorry, Rod, and uh, the the little dog, his little dog. That, that he had for years and years, and the little boy with the catapult. So some characters have been retained, and this, this, the 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 what I call the Emerald City on the back, um, and you got these uh, drones coming across, like vulture eagle type things coming at you, um, and that's the rain. They're the rain, right, showering down on you, and uh, the good guys are on the front cover, front of the cover, hiding behind. And a, a, a torn to shreds um, umbrella. Uh, it looks it's a great piece of artwork, and the, and, the, and a planet in the behind them, and it's quite wow. Cop this yeah. again. So that's and here comes the rain. Was perfect for all that. But, and Rodney needs something to kickstart him in the right direction. So that's what that happened there. Yeah. It's a brilliant art, art, artwork. It's going to look fantastic as a tour T-shirt when you do get chance to tour. It's going to look fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. That would, I mean, I'm looking at your artwork. It's very future. It's very it reminds me much of like the Lord of the Rings, but a cartoon futuristic. If you know what I mean, do you kind of agree with me? Kind of that kind of vibe, like a cartoon version yeah. of Lord of the Rings. Yeah, I think you always know with a Magnum yeah. album when you see a cover, you know it's a Magnum album. I think yeah. it's great to have like an identity as a band. You know what I mean? I think with the combination of Tony Souls and, and Rodney's artwork, I think that's a, it. It definitely gives us an identity. I think yeah. which is a, good for people to just go, oh, yeah, that's a Magnum album. Right. I mean, the, I mean, the music was wrote by Tony. I mean, Bob, you wrote all the lyrics, I presume. Or was anybody else involved with the ly- lyrical writing? The lyric, Tony writes all the lyrics. Yeah. Right. Okay. I'll just sing them. Okay. <laughs> yeah. so is is anybody well, else? Is I'll there anybody else? In, anybody else involved with the lyrics or anything? Was it just Tony? No. That does it all? No, it's just Tony all the way. Yeah, it's the way we like it. He's the he's the songwriter, the producer, and he plays guitar, <laughs> and um, yeah. He's always come up with the, the lyrics, and I'm usually the first one to see some words. Um, you make a demo, and everybody will know what, uh, what what's coming at them uh, when it's their turn to come in the studio. Um, but he, he will demo everything for us, like I say, and he'll put the the the, lyric, the vocal melody on a guitar, um, so I can get the melody in my head without any words. And then sometime later, some lyrics will turn up, and here we go. You go right, you know, get your get your lips around this one, Bob. And um, it's great, uh, great way to do it. Uh, so we spend longer together than 
everybody else. Uh, so when we've got enough for people to hear, we go, right, send everybody that. Yeah, it, does, it, it works brilliant because Tony does some quite sort of thorough demos for us. So we, we get no idea exactly how the song's going to be and, you know, what, what Tony's vision is of the song. You know, so we can all go away and think about the songs and think about our parts and then we all get together in the studio, you know, we'll all record our parts, you know, and then, like, you know, Tony will be like, oh, yeah, that's really cool, or, you know, can we change that a bit, you know. So mm -hmm. it works really well, you know, it gives us a bit of freedom to to do some stuff and throw some things at it from, you know, my own point of view, and, you know, and it works really well, you know, it works really well. Okay, then, so how long did it take to record this album? How long to record? Uh, Tony started writing the songs for this album last year. Uh, we was on tour but in sections and because uh, of the COVID thing and uh, had to be rescheduled, but in sections, not a complete tour like we would do normally. Right. Uh, so, and he was got his little studio in his garden and he was there putting his stuff down, writing it. Uh, and then Clark kept saying, anything to listen to? He said, no, it's a bit too soon yet, but I'll, be, I'll wait till after Christmas uh, when I can give it you full on. Um, so, I didn't hear anything till January this year. It's just the same year now, isn't it? Yeah, 23. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so I heard something in January. Um, but it was all written then um, musically. Now, lyrically, he hadn't quite uh, started on the lyrics. They came later, much later. Um, but the music's there in the first place. Uh, and um, So two years? I guess, uh, all in all. Um, yeah, we started recording in January and we finished in August. Uh, we had a little break in the meantime. I went off to South America with Avantasia for a few weeks and I came back and we started again. Uh, yeah, recording part two, go. Cool. Uh, so over a period of two years, one just Tony on his own at home and then year two, everybody else when we all you know, we know what we're doing, what's expected of us. Um, so within a, a period of two years. Um, so it's like we have an album out, we, we tour it, and then uh, he's back in his studio, you know, putting down some more stuff. He doesn't stop usually, you know. It's always quite relaxed, isn't it? We, know we just kind of do it over a period of time and it's all relaxed and it's, you know, you don't feel any stress or pressure. You just kind of mm. you know, do a bit here, a bit there, and then eventually it all comes together. Yeah, yeah. it's a nice way of working and it suits it's good. That's so, good. do you have any favourite songs from the new album, then, guys? What's your favourite songs? Oh, sorry, favourite songs. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> all of them. <laughs> <laughs> Next, <laughs> uh, can you put a bit of chop on his voice? Yeah. I, I can't. It's... I, mean, I, I, mean, I, mean, I like, I like the variety of the album. You know, I like there's some really good rockers on there. You know, and I really love the uh, the acoustic track which Bob sings. You know, where there's no you know, it's just Bob and keyboards, which is really, really nice. That's called Broken City. Yeah. Yeah. That's a really great song. Smooth the keyboards, yeah. yeah. About, uh, you know, the, the um, Broken City and uh, Running to the Shadows and Here Comes the Rain are loosely connected. Um, same kind of subject matter. Yeah. Mm. Uh, uh, but Blue Tango, brilliant. Different yeah. again. Yeah. Up-tempo, rock and roll. Cop this, yeah. people. Uh my daughter um, likes After the Silence. That's the one that she really likes. After the Silence. In the car. She keeps putting that one on. Put that one again down. Yeah. yeah. Everybody's got their favourites. But I just like them all. I'm just mm. brilliant. I love it all, you know. There's nothing on there. I go, ooh. They're never, ever going to happen. It's a very complete album, I think, isn't it? Absolutely. It's a bit of everything. Yes, so it's, it's... it's very full. It's very... It's ten songs full on. And, you know, you, it ain't going to get any better than that, you know? I think yeah. it's something for every Magnum fan, whatever era of Magnum you're into. I think there's something on there that's sort of yeah, they, something they, for everybody. everybody we really say, yeah. I think it's very listenable, pleasurable album to listen to, and I hope everybody plays it again and again. Plays it to the neighbours, full volume, please. Thank you. Really annoy them, yeah. Hey, come <laughs> on, you guys. The <laughs> you, yeah, rattle the woodwork. Yeah, really, I just love it, man. Yeah. So, how do you see this album as a progression from the previous albums? Um. They just keep coming one after the other. Uh, um, Tony's in the uh, in the, the right vein to keep writing um, stuff that's uh, come from the previous 
lot of songs and and food for thought for the next uh, session, you know? And it just, it, it keeps going on on the same path, Tony. And he's very aware of what's happening in the world. Yeah. So, uh, so, and he's, he's, an, he's an observer on yeah. what's happening out there. Um, you know, it's difficult for me to think, really, at the moment. I mean, he's very prolific as a songwriter. You know, he just writes and writes because he just, you know, he's got such a passion for writing. You know, he's, I mean, he's probably got half the next album written about, you know, in turn, because he's just always writing. And I think because, yeah. you know, like you said, there's so much things going on in the world. Yeah. You know, I think he's, you know, he's very knowledgeable and he kind of sees so many things and he, he does, he gives you so much subject matter to write songs about. There's a, unfortunately, you know? there's a lot of subject matter out there at yeah. the moment. Not especially. all good. No, not, you know. not all good. So, I mean, so some of the songs on the album are about what's happening around us right now. Okay. Uh, have been um, in Ukraine and right now with other places. I don't want to be too specific. Mm. They're but, quite uh, ambiguous, aren't they? It's it's, sometimes uh, to give people yeah. a chance to think about things. It doesn't like to be too specific. You don't want to be pinned down on, oh, do you mean this or that? So it's kind of more general, you know, it just, you know. A bit of interpretation can be had, definitely. Yeah. Okay. That's so it. So was Dennis Ward involved with the master and the mixing of the album? Or was it just turned out that everything? Because I know Dennis has been involved with Pink Cream 69 is a well-known producer. Yeah. Uh, now, yeah, yeah, Dennis is great, yeah. Uh, he's a producer in his own right. Yeah, everybody knows Dennis. Uh, but um, Tony's the producer, and he will... That's his job, his bag. He's our producer. He always has been, he always will be. Um, we've always had Sheen of Engineering for us, who's brilliant, so... You know, yeah, oh, Sheen is there. Team. Fantastic yeah. engineer, lovely. What a nice person as well. It's 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 a great way to record. We're in a lovely place and with the right people. Uh, and we got Tony as our as our inspiration. You know, it's fantastic, really. Uh, and Dennis is a great producer, and a fantastic singer, and a fantastic bass player. But we leave the producing to Tony. I mean, you you, you wouldn't two producers wouldn't work unless you. I know that people do do that on other albums, maybe, uh, but that wouldn't work for us now. Okay, then one question. So, like to, Dan, one question I, I'd like to ask you, uh, Bob, okay, is yeah. that. Have you yeah. ever thought of re remastering Vigilante album? Because that's a great album, and a lot of people say it needs remastering. Right. Um, no, I don't think it's in town. He's had to look over his shoulder to go backwards, you know. He's always looking forwards to, you know, we've, we've done that. He would say this, I know he would. He said, no, nah, he said, that, that that was great at the time, like, and Wings of Heaven and... You know, good night, LA. All of them. They did. They were great at the time, but we don't want to go back. I don't want to go back to that. He would say, um, we've "Done that. Been there. Done that. <laughs> Got the box set. You know, move on." You know, so that's what he would say. Okay, then. So yeah, I'd there like to. Always be, there always, always be a nostalgia wave with, with bands. You know, where they'll go back and play certain albums in their entirety, or they'll re. Master an album to put it out with some extra things and stuff, you know. It's you know, it's, it's a good thing to do, but you know, we're not that kind of band, you know. It's moving forward, you know, it's kind of be proud of your past, but just keep moving forward and trying to evolve, you know. Yeah, right. Okay, I'd like to thank you guys for doing this interview. Do you have anything to say to the people watching this on YouTube? Yeah, hello, everybody. Hello, how are you doing? Uh, Bob and Lou here. Um, hope you all can enjoy the album. Sorry about the present situation, but we're hoping that will improve in time. And um, all best wishes to Tony. And uh, we hope you like the music. And it's coming out January the 12th. Yeah, the day after my birthday. Right. There you go. Right, <laughs> Congratulations, <there>. Matt. <laughs> all, right. <laughs> all right. And I uh, uh, wish you a Merry Christmas. Yeah. Cheers, Thank guys. You. Thank you, guys. Take care of yourselves. I'll be in touch, Lee. Uh, we've got each other oh, on yes. Facebook. Take care, Bob. Thank you. Have a nice Christmas. Bye. 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 Yeah. Thank you. Bye -bye.